This is very important. Tonight I want to talk about a statistic that's come out that is it's very worrisome. According to one poll, 58% of Americans now think there's a war on police. Now look, I've talked about what I felt were abuses by the police department on this show. I've been I've talked a lot about that, but let me make this clear. I have law enforcement in my family, so this is very concerning to me. But then I saw this. 2015 is on pace to be the lowest, one of the lowest totals of officers gunned down in the line of duty in the last 25 years. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, so I guess it turns out that the real truth is that 2015 is shaping up to be one of the safest years for police ever. And... Not only are they dying in lower numbers, but they're also being attacked less. Well, wait a minute, that, that doesn't make sense. So overall, attacks on police are way down, yet the perception of the American people is that attacks on police are way up. Okay, you may be wondering how that happens. The answer, magic. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the magician, Fox News. Mm -hmm. As many of you know, as many of you know, I'm a magician. Thank you very much. <laughs> Got a little nightly show of cards. It was very nice. Okay. Now, let's just say for demonstration purposes is I show you one card, okay? I cover it. That card is, uh, what? It's the king of diamonds, right? Now, I just lift up my hand. Now, it looks different, right? Now, normally, you'd be a little suspicious, but not if there's nothing to see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now he's good. Okay, I'm gonna break the magician's code. I'm gonna tell you how I did that trick, okay? I really shouldn't do this. I may get in a lot of trouble, but I'm gonna tell you guys, because this is important that we know this, okay? I'm magic. Mm -hmm. Fox, on the other hand, doesn't use magic. They just use good old-fashioned trickeration, okay? So how does Fox turn something that isn't into something that is? Oh, you like that? Oh, oh very good, very good. <laughs> Okay, here's how they do it. First, state your bullshit premise. Wicomico County Sheriff Mike Lewis says these recent attacks highlight an alarming trend that law enforcement officers around the country are under siege. I've never seen it like this, Leland. It's a scary, scary time for law enforcement in this country. It truly is. Now, to be clear, he doesn't mean spooky scary. Okay, like the police are dealing with a lot of creaky doors and pale Victorian children humming nursery rhymes. He's not... They're not creeped out, they're scared. And they're scared because you're scaring them, Fox. Okay? And then you take your bull narrative to the next level by giving it Fox's highest honor, official war status. NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton predicting dire consequences from what he sees as a war on cops. There is a war on cops. What's fueling this war on cops? This is a war on cops. War on cops. War on police. The war on police. War on police. Isn't it obvious that police have a big target on their backs? Damn! Fox is going all in on this war premise. I haven't seen Fox News this excited since the invention of Blonde. <laughs> They're very excited. Very excited. Okay, but now, here's the thing. The audience is hooked, okay? Now, in Magic, we call that the prestige. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. That movie didn't know <laughs> about Magic. <laughs> it really didn't. <laughs> so crappy. So they've given us a false premise. They branded it by giving it their highest designation of war on. And the next thing they do is bring out an expert to support it, a foxpert, if you will. <laughs> Enter the sheriff from earlier. I think there's a complete lack of accountability with this generation. You can go to a home 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, and their kids up on a weeknight, sitting up watching TV, eating snacks out of bags, on the sofa. But most of the time, the parents are out on the street. Wait, parents on the street, kids up all night, snacks from bags. <laughs> what is he talking about here? Are you telling me slacker kids are killing cops? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Could you clarify your coded language? You got a certain segment of society that are very defiant. Hmm. Certain segment. Okay, I'm a little suspicious. <laughs> You know what? I'll tell you what. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, man, okay? When you say a certain segment is responsible for the war on cops, I'm sure you're just referring to the sofa bag eaters of Murder Town, right? They hate law enforcement, and this Black Lives Matter movement has perpetuated the violence we've seen here lately. There it is. 
There it is. Now, in case you missed the trick, they just blame Black Lives Matter for the war on cops that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> mm. Mm. Now, now, right? Okay. This is where it gets good. Now that Fox has established that the fake war on cops is the fault of Black Lives Matter, that's now the reality. We don't question it. So the next technique is to cherry pick moments from the BLM movement to help Fox prove their experts' fake theories. Lucky for Fox News, Black Lives Matter, like any movement, is not perfect. Chants like this from a Black Lives Matter march this month in Minnesota. Pigs in a blanket, fry like bacon. Okay. Pigs in a blanket, fry like bacon. Okay, let me just say, this is horrible, okay? Number one, you should never ever imply that any kind of violence should be done to cops. Their job is hard enough as it is already. And number two, please, Please don't drag bacon into this. Okay? Please. Bacon didn't do anything to anybody except being the most awesome thing on earth, all right? Now, obviously, this was a small, isolated incident in an otherwise peaceful movement. Fox, what was your takeaway from that one moment that you keep playing over and over and over? Their agenda is it's okay to go ahead and kill cops. No, no. Pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. That's language. Is that unclear to you? What, Those shooting? are their uh, words. Okay, now. Anyway, I'm not a spokesperson for Black Lives Matter, but I'm pretty sure their agenda is just to get police to stop shooting unarmed black people. <laughs> pretty sure that's it. I mean, the fact that we even need that movement is insane. And the fact that you're trying to presto change it to a war on cops is even more insane. And once the magic trick has been done and reality seems a little different, right-wing politicians can now make points like this. The rhetoric and vilification of law enforcement, of the police that is coming from the top, that's coming from the President of the United States. And what I can tell you is that this is an example of the lawlessness in the Obama administration. Can you elaborate on how President Obama has, has played a role in the murder of police officers? I think his absence of leadership. Obama? <laughs> You're really blaming this on Obama? You have to be <laughs> Really? I mean, yeah. I don't even believe it. I mean, I have to tell you guys, as someone who loves the art of illusion, I despise Fox's agenda, but I so admire their craft, man. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are really good.